You Bell too. pepper, moringa flowers, moringa leaves, moringa seed pot, basil, Egyptian spinach, and zucchini. Mm. I'm crushing the chiltepine pepper that's grown in our front yard. So I see a lot of seeds. Is that going to make it a lot hotter? Yes, <laughs> that's part of the heat. So she said not to use more than that. I know I got pepper in that bite. It is hot. <sighs> yeah. Do you have any milk? Yes. <laughs> out the fire. <laughs> this is a Babcock white peach, our first peach ever from our garden. So exciting, huh? Yes. It's very juicy, mildly sweet. You can smell the peach flavor. Mm. This what? will be really good soaked in the vanilla syrup <laughs> and put on top of waffles. I have like six dozen eggs in the fridge and they're all from backyard chicken eggs. I trade stuff I grow here with gardeners who have chicken. I barter with my seeds, my plants. A lot of moringa seeds get traded for um, chicken eggs. I am with my old BFF, Christina, who I haven't seen in six years. Now, Christina was my favorite makeup artist in Hollywood, but she left Hollywood in 2011 to go have a family and have a great life and all that stuff. And uh, I miss you, oh my gosh. And so I haven't seen her in all that time. And this is my new BFF, of course. You've been hearing about Jack Davis. And she, we're getting drunk on the smell of that. What is it? Garlic, Garlic chive. <gasps> it's delicious. We're making dumplings. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And now these two live in the same area and now they know each other. And so now you're going to have all this vast uh, n knowledge about gardening. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Right. Oh yeah. She's already showing me a lot of stuff right now. That's awesome. <laughs> that's what I want to do is connect people and inspire people to grow their own food. Right? Yep. That's right. <laughs> and I'm so glad you followed me and that now we've made this connection. Awesome! That's too cool. That's too cool. <laughs> this is the Okinawan sweet potato? Uh-huh. And so, so you eat the leaves, right? Not the... Uh... We eat both the leaves and the root. So these in Taiwan, these are very expensive right now, the, the leaves. Can you put some of those in the dumplings or...? I can. Yeah. It won't add much flavor. It's a very oh, that's mild right. kind of... kind of sweet? No. No, this is like, we cook it like spinach. Okay. So, oh, wow. okay. so I can put this in our dumpling. It's a new thing. But I like to put tons of different greens in the dumpling. Mm -hmm. It's kind of adding servings of vegetables. Right. In little pockets like that. Right. So we'll put some in our dumpling. Okay. But it's a good ground cover. It's a green mulch in the summertime. So it's... Does it encourage rats? You know... For the past three years, we don't have, we never had rat infestation. So I never had rats here. Uh, this is the first year we have rats. And actually tomorrow, probably at Jake's, he said he has been seeing rats at his garden the past five months. So we've never had that before. Um, so this is our first experience with that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's maybe because there's food left out in the area. Mm. Um, so it's attracting them. Mm -hmm. But it is eating, the one rat is eating my uh, kabocha pumpkins. Mm. Um, so, But we have plenty of pumpkins on the vine, so I'm sharing some with him and I'm <laughs> harvesting some. I, my method is I don't really do pest control that much. I love my plants. I, I wake up every morning and I go out there and I check on them and I water them and talk to them. I definitely feel like I've developed a relationship with them. It's very zen going out there and seeing what, what has happened to them overnight. There's some sort of like gratification to go outside the next day and see that you know you're kind of like managing this little like life force. It's uh, it's it's beautiful. I really enjoy it. Are these for me? Yeah! I got a cute little wow. green bag too. I'll give you some moringa seeds. Can't wait to eat oh, those. Awesome. So how long do you cook it in the olive oil? Uh, since it's fresh made, I cook it for about 
five minutes and then I'll steam it for 15. Okay, check it out when you're steaming. <laughs> They look so perfect. <laughs> this is only my first, second time making. Or whoops. Will be a little dropped it. Of course, I want the hot one. I want the hot one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> whoops. Here we go. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> I can't wait to eat my next one. And I haven't finished this one. All right, bon appetit. Yeah. Thank you. Number two, you want the hot sauce? Yes, please. All right, me too. <laughs> Soy sauce with hot chili oil. Mmm. 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 <laughs> She's gonna come to LA and make me some of these. <laughs> these are all from the garden, uh, harvested from the garden this morning. Moringa flowers, moringa leaves, Egyptian spinach, zucchini, blueberry uh, tomato, basil, royal burgundy pole beans, uh, sweet bell pepper, broccoli, broccoli leaves, and Okinawan spinach. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> Gotta go around the sunflowers. I love this gate. It's so pretty. What do you got down there? So we have e toy onion here. Oh yes. And this is planted from so this whole clump mm -hmm. is from one bulb I planted a couple uh, about five months ago. Wow. This is from. Oh, from one. Nice. So. They do really well in the heat. You plant one like this, about halfway in the ground with the bulb, mm -hmm. and you cut off the top. Oh. And once, once you plant it, you wait a month or two, you will send up a new shoot like this. Mm -hmm. And when it gets about this tall, cut it, and wait for a week, it will send out two or three new ones. That means it's gonna form additional bulbs. Recording and I wasn't. It's your line. I know. <laughs> Be epic. Be epic. <laughs> well, it's a hundred and nine in Phoenix, and I picked the absolute hottest time of the year to come and visit my new BFF, Jack Davis. We have had an absolutely wonderful time interviewing her friends, uh, Jay and Jake, the yep. vegan athlete. And um, at, we're standing in front of the uh, Sun Devil Stadium, where I guess they play football? I think so. And what's the name of that rock over there at the edge of the stadium? But you live here. I know, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so what is that rock right there? Right. The I'm the pointing at way. myself. Yeah, you gotta point at me. What is that? <laughs> Shoot. So what is that rock right there? Am I pointing at it? No. Oh, <laughs> big rock right there. You are not going to be a tour guide for this city, girl. I know. 